One of the common modifications we'll see in professionally built race cars is the use of a pedal box. Now, a lot of people might not understand what a pedal box is and why we may need it. So we're going to dive in and find out all of those details. To start with though, let's talk about the braking system in a production car. Now, regardless of whether we've got ABS or not, traditionally we'll have a single master cylinder that will provide pressure to the brake systems of the front and the rear of the car. The problem is that particularly if we don't have ABS, Yes, we're going to have a fixed brake bias or brake pressure split between the front and rear wheels. Now that might work fine in a factory production car but particularly once we start modifying the car the brake bias may not be ideal for our application and we may want to change the brake bias depending on whether the track is wet or dry. So the option here is to move to a pedal box which then provides an individual master cylinder for the front brake circuit and an individual master cylinder for the the rear brake circuit. Some course adjustment here in the brake bias can be made by selecting the size of the front master cylinder versus the rear, but even once this is done, some adjustment to that brake bias may be needed while the car's out on the track. Adjusting the bias is achieved via a adjustment knob that's located somewhere within the reach of the driver, normally on the dash or maybe on the roll cage. This runs down to the pedal box and via a screwed adjuster this moves a spherical bearing within the brake pedal and depending on where that, that spherical bearing is located within the brake pedal will adjust the force distribution between the front and the rear master cylinder. So this allows the driver to adjust the brake bias as for example the fuel load burns away and the weight distribution of the car changes. Another aspect that's easy to overlook though is that for a wet setup versus a dry setup, the brake bias will be significantly different. Because on a wet track, the driver can't generate anywhere near as much braking force, generally we can get an advantage by biasing more towards the rear wheels. The other advantage with a pedal box is it offers a lot of adjustability to suit the particular preferences of the driver, in particular the ratios for the brake pedal, the clutch pedal and the throttle pedal can be adjusted as well as the specific location of the pads that the driver's foot is going to press against. This makes sure that the pedal box can be set up to perfectly suit each driver who's going to race the car. The last point that's worth mentioning here is that the pedal boxes will usually incorporate the throttle pedal and the throttle actuation can either be via a cable but with more and more modern cars now using drive-by wire throttle body some of these pedal boxes will offer offer the easy addition of a throttle pedal actuator which can be actuated directly off the throttle pedal assembly making it really easy to adapt a pedal box to a drive by wire engine. If you like that video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week and if you like free stuff we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.